Justin and Ryan from Ground Effects. We're going to show you how to properly plant a plant along with applying mics and root stimulator. We have a lot of questions on this and we figured we'd make a video. So, first of all, here's your plant. This is about a five gallon pot. They call it a five gallon pot because it fits about five gallons of water in here. See if it's not a place. What you're going to do, you know where to plant it, so you kind of go like that, so you know where you need to dig. You dig about four to six inches around the plant. So you go all the way around. This is really nice and dry dirt. Alright, we have the hole dug. That was easy. Wow, quick. <laughs> Deep enough. So we want to make sure that our, our hole is about four to six inches wider than the container. So what I usually do is put the container in here first, just to take a look to make sure. You want to make sure that the soil in the pot is the same as the soil level outside. Everybody always asks, I just plant it just as deep as it is in the pot. So what you do then, I like to just kind of put sometimes it on the side of the hole. You can Sometimes you can just pull it right out, okay? So I got this pulled out. Now what you want to do, this is a five gallon pot, it's on the side of your mic's container, it should say how much for a five gallon pot right here. Five gallon you need two cups, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and hold it above the, <coughs> above here so the rest falls in there. One cup, I'm going to put it on there and then I'm just going to rub it on the roots. That's a half a cup. It's safe for your hands. It's yep. all. So, okay, that's one cup. Okay, now I'm going to spin it. Sometimes it's easier with two people or if you have one person sitting and watching. <laughs> one and a half. I think he's talking about me, folks. Okay. And then I got, that's two. So all that's right on the roots. That's what we want to do. I want to break up these roots too. Okay, and I, as you're putting that mics on, you want to break up those roots. We should have done that first. What, if it, what, what happens when that's really root bound when you pull it out of the pot? Then you want to break up all the roots because if you don't break up the roots, the roots are going to continue to circle in that pot and they're going to basically choke itself to death. So I usually you want to make sure these, what I sh you need to score the outside. This one isn't root bound, but you'd want to score the outside with a knife or something and cut those roots so they start going out this way. Okay, so now I got my hands dirty already, so I don't need my gloves. If you would like gloves to help backfill around here. So then you want to get this, you want to make sure that there's not a whole lot of quads in this dirt because you don't want air pockets in the dirt because if you have air pockets and the roots get exposed to that the roots will that part those roots will die and certain parts of the plant will die then too Here's that shell. you want to make sure it's around there good Ryan Okay. And it's not bad to have almost a little moat on the outside even, just so that's watered in good. Do you have the water on? That's yep. water. Okay, so now we got a five gallon pot. What we want to do, take this root stimulator then, we want to do this every two weeks. For a total root stimulator. So you want to do probably three to four applications. If you do that, you'll have 33% <laughs> more roots. So we take that cup again, and it's two ounces per gallon. That's a five gallon shrub, so we'll probably go three gallons of water with six ounces of this. So as simple as this, you put six ounces in there, beds. Fill it with water. Three gallons, fill it all over half full. Yeah, we do want to mention too that there's three different sizes of this stuff. Uh, that's the smallest one. Usually perennials you do one ounce, one gallon of water with two ounces shrubs, you, a two gallon shrub you do four ounces with two gallons, and trees you do about a whole five gallon bucket with ten ounces. So then what you want to do is just slowly kind of pour it around, let it soak in, not too fast. Doing this two to three times will give you 30% more root growth, correct? 33%. 33% more See, root growth. See, and this growth. is where it will run a little bit, so it's sometimes good to do a little mode around there. So it soaks in good. You don't want to pour it all on at once. You want to let it slowly go down so those roots, roots really get saturated. So what I might do now is just let this sit 
and then let it let it drain a little bit and then pour the rest on. Because if you pour it all on and it just runs off, that's not good because we want it to get right down into the root system. And you do this to all your plants, and how long do you wait until the next application? Uh, about two weeks, 10 two to 14 weeks? days. So it's as easy as that planting. If you're in rock, and right here we're going to be mulching this, but if you have rock, what you want to do is you want to take some mulch and put it around the base, at least up to the canopy. So wherever your hole was, if it's four inches wider, that's where you want your mulch to be, because then it won't heat up as much. So that's how you plant plants. Any other questions, give us a call at Ground Effects, or check us out on the web, www.scgroundeffects.com.